thank you to the following members. At level 4, Dragon Dance 05, Toofs, Sersha, the 7th Legend. At level 3, Felipe the Stick Figure. At level 2, Xavier McKnight, Keon Frost, Ace Trainer Al, Ney Ut, Kirito. At level 1, Bradello 2, Don39, Alexis Cisneros, Glitchy RX, Novice Nathy. If you guys want to become a member, there's a lot of perks that are included with membership. At level 1, you will get member badges and emotes that will increase the more members the channel have. Of course, there's a lot more perks like Discord voice chat throughout the entire stream and Discord server auto ping for whenever you guys go live. There's a join button next to the subscribe button. If you guys want to join, it's also linked down in the description below. Again, big thanks to all the channel members who join as members and go that extra step to support the channel. What's going on you guys? Uh, since uh, the Pokemon Percents was during my work day, I decided to make a video of my reaction to all the things that uh, showed up. And uh, thankfully, uh, I got the link without seeing anything. So that's good. I get to get my full first time reaction i can i can already tell it's 35th on trending for gaming okay interesting it's not by an official release by nintendo it's by, by the pokemon company so uh, i'm not sure if it got as much and i'm not gonna show the shot replay here of course i'm just gonna watch this right now i can see draconic is playing right here <laughs> anyway so let's uh, go full screen here and see if it is good or not, if they're going to disappoint everybody or not, 27 minutes of information, 27.27, 27. 27 minutes, 27 seconds, okay, I guess they, it's not technically 28 minutes, but okay, let's see what they have to offer, if we'll be disappointed or not, probably. Hello everyone, I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. Mm-hmm. Today, I'm happy to share with you our latest updates on a number of games. First, we'd like to share some news about Pokemon's first strategic team battle game, Pokemon Oh, they're gonna Unite. start with Unite right away? The Nintendo Switch version of the game has already been released, and the oh, release now the of mobile the mobile version, version has oh. now been set for September 22nd. Well, that's great for those who don't have a Switch and want In to try In anticipation of the mobile version launch, pre-registration has begun today on the App Store and Google Play Store. Oh, Nintendo you can try Switch it. and mobile device users can play together in Pokemon Unite. We hope as many people as possible will be able to enjoy playing it together. Players will also receive special gifts in their game based on the number of people who pre-registered for the mobile version, thanks to a special campaign happening now. We hope oh. you'll all pre-register and look forward to the mobile release. Cool that they're adding more stuff to it. it Players feels who are like quick to have jump in with the Nintendo Switch version that has already been released can also receive Zera Aura's Unite license as a launch bonus. A uh, launch Unite bonus is the same. Okay, that, that's not bad actually. By linking accounts. As long as you just link your account, you get the Zera Aura. And finally, I'd like to give you all a preview of some of the Pokemon that are slated to join in future updates. Oh, they're gonna show all the. Okay. Ooh, Mamoswine. That's pretty cool. Might actually main Mammoth Swine, I don't know. Oh, it's got like... What, what was that move? Oh, Sylveon. Oh! How are they gonna do Sylveon? Can you like... Like, it would be cool if they let you choose the evolution. The evolution, technically. I think it's just gonna be an EV that turns into Sylveon, Look I forward guess. to more from Pokemon Unite in the future. Now, I'd like to share some news about a few of our other games. Oh, the, of course they're gonna talk about stuff no one cares about. <laughs> At least Cafe I don't Mix care about it. Pokemon Cafe is getting a revamp, and with it, a new title. Hmm. Pokemon Cafe Remix. The puzzles have been refreshed with the addition of new elements with which you can mix, link, and blast puzzle icons. There will be tons of Pokemon new to Pokemon Cafe Remix and new dress up options. You'll also find more ways. The reason why I'm not talking is because I'm going to edit this out. So, yeah, that that's why. Because I don't, I don't want this in the video because I'm not really excited at all about this.
aspects of growing and yeah, developing your Rala's staff Pokemon, cool. so this renewed puzzle game is sure to be something that can be enjoyed for years to come. Pokemon Cafe Remix will open its doors this fall. Wait, it's not a release? What? Pokemon Masters EX? Huh? Not actual game footage. Yeah, it's on a phone. Pokemon Masters kind of weird. celebrates its two-year anniversary. Dynamaxing is here. Cygnusu Leon has arrived, and he's partnered up with Eternatus. Team up with brothers Leon and Hob to face Eternatus in the legendary event currently underway. To celebrate the two-year anniversary of Pokemon Masters EX, players will get the chance to scout up to 100 sync pairs. So the only reason why I think Masters is cool is because uh, someone keeps releasing 3D models that I can work like ex uh, like experiment with of all the characters. Like the characters are high quality models in this game, and that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's about it about Masters. I don't. I only tried it a bit. But I don't think I actually like Masters. Here's at no cost. And I'm Plus. not I'm not talking because I want to edit it out without any effort. <laughs> three different legendary events are returning at once, meaning players can team up with three legendary Pokemon. And will be How returning in a again? special outfit oh. as part of a Master Sync pair. N and his Pokemon are able to target all opponents with their attacks. Look forward to seeing N as well as other two-year anniversary sync pairs soon. Then, starting in September, a new story arc unfolds. Villainous organizations are stirring once more as the story takes a darker turn. You won't want to miss it. We have plenty of other events and exciting content planned as well. So come join us in celebration of this special anniversary. Also, if you log into the game after this presentation, you can receive a present of 3,000 gems as our newest campaign begins. You won't want to miss it. Uh, I probably want to miss it. The fifth anniversary? Oh my god, I forgot how long Pokemon Go has been out. Pokemon Go, which is celebrating its fifth this anniversary, is something I'm interested will in, have though, Pokemon, I like Pokemon that were Pokemon first Go. discovered in the Galar region appearing in the wild. The Ultra Unlock Part 3 Sword and Shield event will begin on August 20th, 2021 at 10 a.m. Cool. local time. Players can look and forward to seeing Pokemon. Wulu, Squavit, and Phalanx during the event. The legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zamazenta is, okay, will also this be event appearing is on in Five Thursday Star Raids. Friday. It seems that the That's sudden appearance bad. of Pokemon it's originally Friday, discovered in so. the Galar region has something to do with the mischievous tricks of a certain mythical Pokemon. Be oh, sure to take Hoopa. part in these events and discover the truth behind these curious appearances. Your adventures in the real world will only <laughs> continue to They're doing the event for <laughs> Ultra Sun and Moon where Hoopbuck is releasing legendaries. Oh, no, that, that was Alola. Yeah. Next up, yeah, Alola. we have some news about the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl games. Hmm, some news about them, finally. We only got like a simple trade. <laughs> Turtwig! If you don't like Turtwig, I'm sorry. You suck. <laughs> I love Turtwig. He's the best around. Legend Turtwig. <laughs> I just love Turtwig so much. He's the best boy. Very nice to meet you. That, that oh my god, I remember I remember the first time I played Diamond and Pearl. Like uh I was off for Pokemon. After Gen 2, uh Silver and Gold. Uh, I was off on Pokemon for a long time. I only got to like try the games. Because my cousin had them. I did not have a working GBA. My, my brother had one. But uh, I think I mostly played on it. He didn't use it at all. So it's tech it was, you can say it was mine in a way. But I never actually bought games for the Game Boy. Because, you know, I was a kid in school. Didn't have money. I spent all my money on, like, sheep games <laughs> in this GameStop. Or EB Games, that's what it was called when this game came out. Man, I cannot wait to play this, and uh, yeah, I'm very excited to play it. Brilliant Diamond. <coughs> I mean, I'm probably going to make a solo run on uh, Shining Pearl 
as well for those who want to watch that of course let's, let's keep going don't want this video to be for too long man they really they really stayed faithful to the original I don't like the chibis look exactly like the characters Really good. I really wanted the uh, Mega Ruben Alpha Sapphire to be like more faithful. I kind of have to keep in mind the fact that it's more faithful. The original uh, Mega Ruben, uh, original Ruben Sapphire. Even though I didn't play that much of it, I had fun playing my, my cousin's copy of it. <laughs> It's still cool that they have four character models in the fights. So that's that's pretty nice. Oh, you can actually customize. Oh yeah, I remember that. Oh, my God, the union room. Yes, very nice to set up like a boss. Oh, you can actually choose the style. Oh, there's actual outfits. That's that's pretty cool actually. Do they have in? I don't think they had outfits in Omega Ruby Alpha, Alpha Sapphire. Oh, they're the contents. There's more interaction with the contents. Yes. And the underground. Yes, it's still a thing. Ah, oh, the best thing about the underground is you can play with your friends. I got a feeling that you can actually play with your friends now when it's on the Switch without any issue at all. Oh, they actually have special stuff. Man, I don't remember the underground that much. I heard. Maybe they, they made it different, better? You can catch both one and another round. Okay. Team Galactic took both one away. Oh. The new burn of universe they play. One of the best teams in my opinion. Yeah, Team Plasma and Team Galactic are my favorite teams. But the best villain too, it looks really evil too as well. It reminds me a lot of the basics of uh, the original villain. Oh yeah, same here, oh boy. Oh, as long as it will take me to be the champion in this one. Now it will end and everything will begin. Alright, I see what you mean. So glad. So, so I got news about my work situation, which means uh, I'm gonna be able to work for an entire year, I think, about an entire year without worrying. Uh, so I'm very excited that uh, I will be able to play the shiny brilliant diamond and shining pearl without being like totally stressed out and stuff like that. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty fun to be able to play these games. I cannot wait. <laughs> it's gonna be very good. The release of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl is now just three months away. Let's review the main points of these revitalized games. Oh yeah, it's pretty far away still, After but... 15 years, Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl Fifteen years?! ...have been reborn! Oh boy! I was only 13 Diamond when this game Pokemon came out, Shining oh my Pearl. lord. This adventure takes place in the Sinnoh region, a land rich in nature with towering Mount Coronet at its heart. As the protagonist, you'll adventure across the region, oh, catching oh, wild Pokemon me. and making new friends as you strive to complete your Pokedex. Along with your partner Pokemon, you'll overcome the gym leaders of each area and aim to become the champion. You'll also encounter traces of the Sinnoh region's the myths, stuff passed so down good. through the generations, and unravel Man. the truth behind their mysteries. So, so faithful to the original. This is Professor Rowan, who entrusts you with a Pokemon. 
He's a famous professor researching Pokemon evolution. This is I your childhood friend Roland. and rival. <laughs> he hones his skills as a Pokemon trainer through your friendly Very. rivalry. I think he's the best rival ever. Rourke is one Pokemon. of the gym leaders you'll take one of on the best. during your journey. He the best one is in black Pokemon. and white uh, too, I believe. Everywhere you look, Team Galactic is up to something. There appears to be some sort of lofty goal behind all their audacious activity. Yep. <laughs> Cynthia is investigating myths about Pokemon. She's a mysterious person who shows up at many points along your journey. They, I think a lot of people Gameplay know about features her. from Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl have been revamped and powered up for these new games. In the Grand Underground, you can, you can participate in a number Pokemon of activities, so cool. such as I digging up fossils or creating your own secret base and decorating it with Pokemon statues. There are also places down there called Pokemon Hideaways, which didn't exist in Pokemon Diamond yeah, and it's Pokemon a new Pearl. Thing. Apparently, the Pokemon that appear in the Pokemon Hideaways will change depending on which statues you have placed in your secret base. It Ooh. seems that some of the Pokemon living in the Sinnoh region can only be found in this place. So be sure to fully explore the Grand Underground spread that, out the Sinnoh. That's how they decided, okay. That's how they decided to do that, I see. You can I use see. the stickers you'll collect on your adventure to customize the- Like a lot of people are wondering why, uh, uh, what will happen in the case, you know, of uh, the different, uh, like all the new regions and stuff. I wonder if they will have beyond. Probably will be have beyond uh, the f the fourth generation, so we'll still be able to catch like specific Pokemon we want to catch, uh, which I'm really excited for that we can catch like probably all Pokemon in this game now. Cause I I'm gonna get both, uh, shine Di a brilliant diamond and shining pearl. I'm gonna play through diamond on my streams. I'm gonna play through shining pearl probably as like a Nuzlocke or one Pokemon, uh, run. Uh, I'm not sure which Pokemon I should go for though, but one Pokemon, uh, I guess I could have that as a goal or something on stream. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, I'll just, let's just keep going. The effects I that appear when Pokemon so spring out of Pokeballs, such as confetti or fireworks. By collecting stickers at various locations along your journey and decorating with them, you can make your Pokemon battles even more fun. One new feature that was not available in Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl is the ability to change your outfit. Wear your favorite styles on your adventure. That's pretty cool. I love the fact that you can redress the, re in the classic contest characters. In super shows, your Pokemon can dance to the rhythm of the music, proudly the show the rhythm game move, in and Pokemon. aim for a successful <laughs> show. Cooperate with your partner Pokemon to really I love work that. up the crowd. I'm gonna do a lot of more contest stuff. I hope you can do it online, actually. In the Union Room, this release allows you to use not only local communication, but also online communication to interact with trainers all over the world oh, in man. real time. I hope to have the battle please video feature, please. And Pokemon or spectate trades it. with many other trainers. You should be able to spectate in the Union Room. You can walk around awesome with any of the Pokemon that appear in these really games. I really tournament stuff. Enjoy your journey through Sinnoh together with your partner <laughs> Oh, your Pokemon follows you? You didn't realize it now. Oh my god. Please let, please tell me we're going to ride certain ones. Encounters with all kinds ones. of people and Pokemon and the mystery I, behind Sinnoh's I just want to get a Growlithe and you. get an Arcanine and ride it all the time. We hope you look forward to starting an exciting adventure with new gameplay features in the Sinnoh yeah. region. Oh, it's so cool to see the game's characters in HD. Like everything, like everything looks beyond. Is this why they haven't given us anything Please in wait Sword and Shield? Please wait just a bit longer for the start of your adventure. But that's not all. A special Nintendo Switch Lite Dialga and Palkia edition will also be released to celebrate the launch of these games. Why a Switch Lite? This special Are you crazy? Nintendo Switch Lite is dressed up. Why, why do they the keep Pokemon making Dialga these? No one buys the Lite. The special Nintendo the people DS buy the Lites just because Dialga they want like a. That was released back I don't know. In I don't, I don't see why Nintendo keeps launch. making the Lites. It will be when available they, they... to purchase beginning November 5th, 2021. Look forward to it. It's going to calm down a bit. Next, we have some information for you about the Pokemon Legends Arceus game, which is being okay. developed by Game Freak. Okay, okay. Do you 
get to shoot two stuff. Oh yeah, there's different starters. I'm gonna get Rowlet, honestly. Because I love Rowlet. I kinda, I kinda like the fact that there's different starters this time. Mix. That looks so cool. Maybe we actually get to see the so-called action RPG gameplay. I don't know. Seems like it's still gonna be the same. The only difference is, you know, it's more like a Breath of the Wild open world kind of way. Okay, so it is like the the Pokemon is to walk around on the. Mm, still like 15 FPS. I don't know if it's 15 FPS. Just a casual walk. Wait, what? Wait, is that Standler? I'm very confused. Why is the trailer in like... I think it is 15 FPS. Or like 30 maybe. I don't know. It's not look like it's 60 frames. Which kind of scares me a bit. Growlithe? What? Why is there a weird looking Growlithe? <laughs> you get to see the, the ball. <laughs> it shows a firework when you catch it. Oh my lord. Yeah, so they have some... Since this is in the past, maybe there's a... Oh! A Braviary. <laughs> nice. Instead of the... Oh! Wait, what the heck was that? Huh? Wait, is that like an evolution for Stanford? Looks pretty cool, it looks like an old man deer. <laughs> an old man reindeer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's like a boss. They're just going. Oh my god, they're attacking the player? What the heck? Yeah. Okay, it is a turn day. Like a. Like a fear. Yeah. They say it's an action RPG, but it's not real. If it was an action RPG, you would actually get to use the weapon and move it around and attack. Is there a breath now? Is that like an I wonder if the characters are like ancestors of the main characters in the Sinnoh region. Oh! Got it like a 3D, 2D art style here. With the cutscene here. That's what the game will look like. Okay, okay. Friday, January 28th. Oh my god. It's not far away. That was the latest trailer for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let's take a closer look at some of the elements introduced in the video. Pokemon Legends Arceus is a brand new title that opens new doors for the Pokemon series by fusing action with RPG elements. Action with Our RPG elements? Takes place in a region known as Hisui, <sighs> during a long ago era when it was rare for people I to thought live they said in action alongside RPG. Was Pokemon. I wrong? Mount Coronet towers over Wait, the center it? of the land, with sprawling, diverse, natural environments surrounding the mountain on all sides. These different areas are home to a rich variety of Pokemon ecosystems. In the future, this land of Hisui will come to be known as the Sinnoh region. 
You'll set out oh, on an adventure oh, that's what it's completing that, the first Oh, ever that's the old the name of Sinnoh in the past. The bustling Jubilee Village will be the base for your adventures. It's home to the Galaxy Expedition Team, made up of people from various other regions. With divisions such as the Medical Corps, the Security Corps, and the Survey Corps, which researches Pokémon. Hmm. Professor Laventon's field of study is the ecology of Pokémon. He came to the Hisui region along with Pokemon he met in various other regions. He entrusts one of these Pokemon to you. Uh, that's why they're Captain randomized. Captain Silene is the leader of the Survey Corps. Though she may seem to treat you harshly, deep down she's your biggest supporter, and she watches over your progress with care. Commander Komodo oversees the entire Galaxy team. He's a dependable leader who has earned the unwavering trust of his team members. When the commander recognizes your knack for Pokemon research, he allows you to join the team and has you work as a member of the Survey Corps. The duty of the Survey Corps is to observe and catch Pokemon to shed light on how they live. Your survey duties hold the key to unlocking the true purpose of your adventure, and in the course of your work you'll visit various locations within the Hisui region. Your excursions outside the village will begin by preparing at a base camp. At these camps, you'll be able to oh, prepare for your survey okay. work by buying items you or crafting craft new ones from basic materials. <laughs> Black Tumblestone. In the Hisui corn. region, oh, you'll still find the that you'll be vulnerable so to attacks from them. wild Pokemon. Take too much damage from their attacks, and you'll black out. So use caution when you're out doing your survey work. When your Pokemon are hurt, you can return to a base camp to rest up and recover. Once you've completed a survey assignment, return to the village and report the results to whoever requested the job. Oh, it's like a quest-based system, I see. So I guess this is a research Pokemon game? All over the place. It's not Get like close a... to them and aim What's carefully, then throw a Pokeball to try to catch them. Just try. <laughs> You'll find that not all species of Pokemon react the same way when they spot you. For example, some Pokemon will immediately flee, so you'll want to yeah. hide until <laughs> it makes sense for birds. Them. Aggressive Pokemon, on the other hand, may need to be weakened in battle. There are a variety you can still weaken Pokemon. Okay, I see, I see. It's just a weak Pokemon that you can catch immediately. Throw a Pokeball containing one of your own Pokemon near a wild Pokemon, and a battle will begin. You'll oh, find okay. that a single Pokemon may get to act multiple times in a row, depending on its speed stat and the moves that it uses. You oh, can you can. Oh, that's interesting. Pokemon use their moves in two different styles: strong style and agile style. Using a move in the strong style will increase the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be lowered. Using a move in the agile style will decrease the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be raised. Oh, You'll find the strong style will come interesting in handy way to see a chance it's to not fully with one powerful move. While the Agile style is great for situations where acting multiple times in a row will give oh. your battle strategy a real boost. That, that's what Pokemon should have been! To gain the upper like, you should be able battle. to do, like, power-boosting moves and then attacking immediately. When you report the results of your survey huh. work to the professor, information will be added to the Pokedex. You can advance oh, okay. your research oh, it's and a fill in more information <laughs> like an by actual doing things notebook. like catching Pokemon, <laughs> I like seeing that, you actually. certain moves multiple times, and more. Oh, we're probably so going to be a fun to shiny hunt in this game, actually. That Pokedex. Now, we'd like to introduce some of the Pokemon living in the rich, natural environments that are spread out across the Hisui region. What this is that Pokemon book? with distinctive oh, antlers weird. is known as Weirdeer. Weirdeer evolves from a Stantler that has managed to live in the harsh natural environment of the Hisui region. Okay. It has strong ties with the local people, and it has been treated with great care and respect in this land since ancient times. Always respect Garments the old made with man. The fur shed from its beard, tail, and legs yeah, are highly me, prized as warm winter clothing. <laughs> This Pokemon is Basculine. Oh, it's Basculine's it evolution. Can swim with great power. Basculin that live in the Hisui region can evolve into this Pokemon if they become possessed by the restless souls of other Basculin in their school that have perished during their journey upstream. This oh, Pokemon boy. gains power from Dark. the souls possessing it, letting it swim on and on without tiring. 
There are also Pokemon that can be found living Braviary. in this land in forms that have adapted to the environment of the Hisui region. This Pokemon with its great majestic Hisui, wings Hisui is the Hisuian Braviary. form of Braviary. It I comes to Hisui it in the braviary. winter and can imbue its screeches with psychic power to generate shockwaves. Oh, it's a psychic bird. This nice. Pokemon, which works with a partner, is the Hisuian form of Growlithe. It is a very wary Pokemon and appears to protect its territory. Hisuian Growlithe's soft fur is an excellent insulator, allowing it to stay active and lively even in this chilly land. The horn on its head is made of rock, but it breaks easily, so Hisuian Growlithe uses it only when it'll have the greatest effect. I, I kind of, I don't know if I Arceus like it or not, the key I'm not sure to yet. Story. But, but I what want, connection I want to does it, it have really to your bad. adventure? We hope you look forward to finding out on the day when you can finally meet the people and Pokemon of the Hisui region for yourself. Hmm. Those were our latest updates on these new entries in the Pokemon series. Oh, it's all already over, huh? Pre-orders for Pokemon Legends Arceus, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, and Pokemon Shining Pearl will become available on Nintendo eShop after this broadcast. We'd also like to announce that support for these titles is planned to come to Pokemon Heart, the cloud service for Nintendo Switch and compatible mobile okay. devices in 2022. Probably when Arceus comes out. Keep an eye on our upcoming announcements for further details. Yeah, it's probably going to be when Arceus as we comes out so we can do that both. So many of you continue to enjoy. These will take place as before in Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield. We hope you all have fun participating in even more competitive play in the future. Oh, you can't do rank battles? Okay. That's unfortunate. Those are all the latest updates we can share with you today. We hope you're looking forward to all the exciting Pokémon adventures to come. Thank you all for tuning in and watching. Hmm. I'm not sure if I'm disappointed or not. I liked if we got more information about uh, Legends Arceus and um, the the remakes. Uh, the only thing I'm not a fan of is Nintendo. Like Pokemon Company can easily make an action RPG Pokemon game where you control the Pokemon and you use moves like you do in Unite. Like not exactly like Unite, but where you can actually do that sort of thing. I know a lot of people prefer the turn-based. I think I'm getting like sick of the turn-based stuff, but in this case, they actually spruced up the turn-based a little bit, where you could use, like, for instance, you could use, like, Tail Whip to weaken the enemy and then attack right after, uh, which is pretty interesting. Very interesting, very interesting. I cannot wait to experience uh, what this game will be like. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Gonna get both the Brilliant Diamond, Brilliant uh, Shining Pearl, and I'm gonna get Legends Arceus whenever that comes out. That's in the 28th of January, so that's not too long from now, in 2022. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited uh, to play these games. Um, I guess the only thing I'm not excited for is that they still haven't made a full uh, action RPG game. But it's pretty interesting the interaction you do with Pokemon in this game. That's like set in the far in the past, and they actually have a different name for it, Hisui, Hisuian region, yeah, pretty cool, I wonder what, <laughs> the, the first thing I think about, I wonder what the shiny uh, Hisuian Growlithe will look like, uh, I kind of hope they do a blue one or a different color, that would be pretty cool, because the current Growlithe, it's not that great, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my reactions, uh, if I'm not it's t super excited for a lot of stuff is because I don't like it. Uh, yeah. And I'm probably not going to edit this because I don't feel like editing this. You're going to see a lot of me being bored <laughs> for most of this, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, I will see you guys whenever um, there's any new uh, presents or directs. Uh, unfortunately, they keep putting these when I work. So I have to do a video on it because I don't want to get spoiled before I watch the video. That's usually what happens. Um, as soon as I don't watch the stream live, I get spoiled in some kind of way. Uh, yeah. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you liked my 
reaction or me in general or dislike if you don't like my reaction and don't like me in general i will see you guys in the next one stay great and amazing and everything else bye bye <laughs>